Hello, YouTubes! So, I just did a box opening for this head, the bald one, and I'm gonna do another video with her in a minute to figure out wigs, but... Ah! So, <laughs> I ordered this doll. Um, it's a raccoon doll, white Eva. They say white or black based on the face up that they gave. Um, Raccoon Doll is a very new company, um, like less than a year old, um, but it's a MSD that's a mature looking MSD, so it looks like an adult person, which is my, how I love my MSDs, um, and my dolls in general. I like having adult dolls, I guess, um that means anything. Um, but yeah, he, everyone says he, so I'm assuming it's a he, I don't actually know, but the person who sculpts Raccoon Doll has sculpted a, um, shapelier body, um, mainly in the hips and the thighs, um, for their doll, and it's just gorgeous. And then all of the, the heads, the faces are gorgeous as well. So I am super excited to be opening this. Also, so I ordered, I ordered uh, from Raccoon Doll first and then fell in love with the Fairyland head and ordered that after. And with like shipping issues and stuff, the Fairyland head I didn't get till today. I also got Raccoon Doll today, which I find astounding because she shipped from Korea days after she shipped from like somewhere in the US. So like US to US took longer than Korea to the US. And I was just like, okay. Um, so I just thought that was a cool fact. Also, I ordered during a free shipping event um, that they were having, which is partly why I ordered, because free shipping from Korea. So I was expecting, like, the cheapest shipping. And the fact that it came, like, so quickly, and, like, I had to sign for it, and it was, like, very secure. Also, <laughs> it's a big box. Not that big. Um, but yeah, so I love the shipping so far. And then I love the packaging, like bubble wrap around the box. And then I bought extras that are taped on top. Um, so I bought a bunch of extras and he's, they've put out new clothes recently that I want to get also because, because of her shapely body. I feel like finding clothes and more specifically finding pants for her is going to be difficult. But I'm thinking the character might not wear pants and be like a dress skirt person, um, doll, whatever. So I got a bunch of clothes from them because I'm sure they'll fit because they're the ones they're selling. Um, so yeah, so let's see the clothes and the wig that I ordered. Make sure everything's correct. Computer's going to sleep, which probably doesn't do anything, but... So she's going to be blonde, which also, if you've noticed, I have a very colorful array. Um, and so this is my first blonde. Um, another thing about them is that they have very small heads for MSD. So this is a 6'7 size wig. Or 5'6 it might even be. Because I'm like, I don't think that would fit my Tika. Um, who wears a 6'7? This might be a 5'6. Tiny heads. Um, they are... Raccoon Doll has the head more proportional to the body in terms of, like, how real people look, um, as opposed to, like, a doll look. Um, so it'll be interesting having that. So I got black and white of this tank top, the turtleneck turtleneck dress, and it's just like a form-fitting dress. And then I got my favorite dress ever, which I want for myself in both black and maroon. Cute. 
And then I also bought heels, which aren't in this little extra package. So I'm hoping they're in the box. So let's get to it. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay. I just say really corny things a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see here. Where is the seam? Make it on. Very well. Like, this bubble wrap's amazing. Like, and it feels brand new. I just want to pop it off. But I am selling one of my dolls, so I should keep all of the shipping stuff that I can. You just static here? Wow. It's a bike great bubble wrap. That's really good. Two bubble wrap layers. Safety first, guys. When shipping, I guess. I'm tired. <laughs> I've had a long day at work. I signed for her in the morning. Like, literally, I woke up late and signed for this package and then was like, I need to leave this second for work. Um, so, should I... That'll pop it all. I should untake it. But, here we go. I'm popping a lot of it, which makes me happy. I love popping bubble wrap. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's cute. It has a little saying, I too will something make and joy in the making, although tomorrow to seem like the empty words of a dream, remember, remembering on waking. It sounds like a Alice in Wonderland type quote. Oh, this side too. I love all beauteous things, I seek and adore them. God hath no better praise, and man in his hasty days is honored for them. It's just really cute. And then raccoon doll. So, if you've never heard of them, go check them out. They're gorgeous. Also, this box is gorgeous. Look at that. You can't really read it because the light is, like, not letting me focus. But it says, The Birth of a Raccoon. With the beautiful arch. So, it's a sideway foldy box. And then foam. Oh my goodness! So, I'm here. There is a certificate of authenticity. She is an Emma. Oh, they actually write everything? A lot of the brands don't write everything anymore. And I'm always like, I want my name. And he like wrote my name and has her, like the sculpt name. Gotta see that. Okay, so, look at this hippie girl. She has a shape. So cute. So these are the shoes. And then, because there's heels, there's heel feet. So, heel feet and heels are in the box. But, okay, let's get you out of here. Your face cap holds you in. Interesting. Very smart shipping. Doll box. Doll box to be saved. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so she's so she's forty something centimeters, but like oh she has hips. She just like hips for days. And uh, they are double jointed. So I mean I gotta play with her to figure out like how it works. But hi! Sorry doll nudity. Interesting. One knee. Two knee. Just do that, just straight out of the box. 
Okay, little hand thingies. So one hand is very just kind of like open, and then the other one is a little curled. So maybe she can like hold stuff or like grip something. And the moment of truth. And she's taped again. This shipping, like packaging, is great. Like, oh my god. So, because everything is so tiny, her eyes are so, so small. Like, so I meant because her head is so tiny. Like, because it's proportionate. Here she is. Hello. Can you look at that? She is a little person. Her head cap is magnet. Tiny little eyes. If I ever, I don't think I'm going to get her new eyes. I like, most of the time I'll try and keep the eye color they come with. If I like it, um, mainly because it's like a weird, like, you're born with it. I don't know. It's like a weird thing in my head. Um, so I like keeping the eye color that they come with. But she's gorgeous. I'm in love. Um, I should put this wig on. So let's see. If you want to sit, which way do you sit? Okay, she has little grooves that like help her sit. She just sits, so that works. We're at 11 minutes. I don't actually know how long um, we can record for YouTube anymore, so hopefully this isn't too long. I'll try to keep it under 15 minutes, so maybe I'll just put her dress and wig on and then we'll leave it. So yeah, this is definitely like a 5'6 wig or something like that. It's so tiny. Um, but it's for my doll. They sell, um, so Raccoon Doll sells for my doll wigs that are just that size. Um, he only has one size at the moment of doll, and it's only female at the moment, but the website says man, so I think they're trying to sculpt a male doll as well. Do you not fit? Wig. That would be so upsetting because I want you to just stand here and be gorgeous. Well, I can't get the wig to fit right now. So I'm going to say goodbye. And then I'll have another video talking about both of them, I guess. Or put their wigs and clothes and we'll see. Okay.